We all know that they have already genetically modified our maize, but the weird science effect that boggles my mind is an entirely different genetic modification. Minnesotans will perpetually downplay the negative parts of life. On the coldest days, we'll tell you it wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the gosh darn wind. And on our most miserable, muggy summer days, we'll tell you that it's not really the heat that gets you, it's the humidity. True though, you know. But the one thing we never downplay is our biggest bane of summer, and that's our state bird the mosquito. They are so big and so thick that they will carry away small children. And as Minnesotan as we are, we still not have found a way to downplay how much they suck. <laughs> and while they have certainly ruined many camping trips and fishing expeditions, these biting bugs go well beyond simply being a nuisance. Because mosquitoes happen to be the deadliest animal in the world. This is because they spread all kinds of diseases. But there is a couple potential solutions that just might make mosquitoes suck a little less. And the first is genetically modified mosquitoes. In Florida and California, they released millions of genetically modified mosquitoes to fight mosquitoes with mosquitoes. Sadly, it's not as cool as it sounds like the gorilla fighting the monsters in Rampage, the, the movie, not the video game. But don't worry, it's also not as scary as it sounds when you hear genetically modified mosquitoes. They simply altered an inheritable gene so the female mosquitoes, which are the ones that bite you, die before they reach maturity, and the male mosquitoes grow up to pass on the mama murdering gene. The intended result obviously being less mosquitoes. This project was started back in 2022 too, so we have yet to see how effective it will be because it obviously will take a few years for it to really kick in. But hopefully we'll see some great things because I am ready for some genetically modified mosquitoes to come take out our pest problem around here. But I'm aware that opinions about GMOs run wild and not all of those opinions are positive. So perhaps you may wish for a more natural solution to disease control. And one of these solutions is infecting mosquitoes with bacteria and then releasing them. It's totally not Umbrella Corp doing this. Don't, don't worry. Bulbachia bacterium naturally lives in many insects. Kind of like when Fry gets infected with worms in Futurama, the bacteria seems to improve the mosquito's immune system. Which which sounds like a bad thing, right? Like, why, why do we want healthier mosquitoes? Well, it turns out healthier mosquitoes means healthier people. Sort of. See, when a mosquito infects a person with Zika or Dengu or whatever that one is, uh, the mosquito has to be infected as well. The mosquito is technically sick. But this mosquito immune boosting bacteria is incredibly effective at helping the mosquito fight off those infections that it would get and pass on to you. The cool thing is the mosquitoes actually pass this bacteria on to their offspring as well. The downside is you then have healthier mosquitoes because, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't kill the mosquitoes, which means you still have a have a lot of a lot of mosquitoes They're like i know i know mosquitoes are still an important part of the balance of the ecosystem and shit but like couldn't we maybe consider replacing them with less bitey bugs humans have made a lot of shit go extinct that we probably would have liked to have kept around could we just like make a trade uh would that even even the odds balance the scale we don't even need to make them go extinct let's just make a trade like you know like more polar bears and, and less mosquitoes i know i know not the same ecosystem but you get my point something less buzzy and bitey and i guess polar bears are still kind of bitey but i'm sure women would still pick them over the mosquito anyway this kind of technology actually makes me pretty excited and, and if there's any scientists listening i was wondering if if maybe you'd like to work on a, on a little project for me. Do y'all maybe make me some genetically modified burdock, you know, you know, cockleburs? Because I got a ton of the fuckers, and some of them are like, they're, they're legitimately bigger than trees. And it does not matter how much mowing and pulling and burning I do. They, they, they are the most impervious plant on the planet. You don't even need to kill them, because like, I get it, they're like good for the ecosystem or some bullshit. But like, could you just make them less, less Velcro-y? I'm gonna tell you, I try to be an environmentally conscious guy uh, and everything, but when I have to pull these out of my dogs and horses on the regular it kind of makes me want to agent orange my entire pasture you know just less burry burrs that that would be great and, and also deer flies and horse flies you can you can genetically murder those organisms for all i care those damn things are worse than mosquitoes and the fact that the secret solution to stopping soul-sucking skeeters from super spreading sickness should be as simple as sexing them sterile by shifting some gene sequences well that is pretty mind-boggling